I uh, live and work in South West London. I was uh, personally funded by Henry Moore. I was Henry Moore Scholar and that's how I finished up at the Royal College of Arts in 1982. The basis of my practice has always been drawing, really, and it was something which uh, definitely marked me out as being uh, someone who had a slightly different approach to the practice of making sculpture. The use of the small-scale models uh, or maquettes is largely driven by my impatience, being able to realise with a degree of spontaneity that I think is important fresh ways of actually looking at my own subject matter. I would use a bandsaw or I would use a hot wire cutter for styring, but I would use something which had a kind of immediacy where I could start to cut up shapes which were developmental studies from sketchbook drawings, from found objects, from other pieces of sculpture, it could be anything. I've always thought three-dimensional. And certainly when I started to use 3D modelling with Maya, that was very important. It was very similar, but even quicker than using a bandsaw or using a hot wire cutter. This one is quite complex because it's alternating stainless steel marble sections. This idea of a kind of roller coaster. The work was breaking out of looking at objects and I was starting to look at things which were to do with energy and movement. The idea of not making a piece of sculpture which is a saxophonist or somebody playing another musical instrument, but that idea of the description of musical rhythm almost being like a conductor's baton. Now since a lot of my work was based on the objet trouvé tradition in modern and contemporary art history, the found object itself was analogous to this idea of culture and history. I wanted to start to work on a much more monumental scale. I wanted to see the work not within the four walls of a gallery space. I wanted to start to see it within the context of urban spaces and start to explore ways through community consultation that ideas about social history, which formed themselves as objects, into making large-scale pieces of sculpture. I do work a lot uh, worldwide, a lot in China, as it happened since 2008, which is when I made the Big Strange Meeting 27-ton piece of sculpture for the Beijing Olympiad, which is still in place now. I find it very interesting being the foreigner because I can see things completely afresh. Everything is novel, and that novelty could have a value for the work that I actually make.